Are the tax benefits of being married or in a civil partnership a good enough reason to tie the knot? Tax breaks may be enough to make you decide to get hitched, but even if your reasons for marriage are deeper than the money, understanding the impact of doing so on your tax affairs is important. In this video, I'm hoping to summarise the tax pros and cons of the state of wedlock. And when I prefer to be married, please note that the same rules apply for those in a civil partnership. Probably the most important tax benefit of being married relates to inheritance tax planning. Gifts to your spouse are exempt from inheritance tax. Isn't a government generous? <laughs> this is a huge benefit for couples who live together and want the survivor to be able to enjoy the full benefit of any assets that they jointly owned or owned by the deceased partner without losing up to 40% in tax to the government. A major second tax benefit is that the transfer of assets between spouses doesn't give rise to capital gains tax. Let me give you an example. Mike and Amanda have lived together for many years before deciding to get married. Mike has got a substantial property investment portfolio which generates £100,000 rental income each year, whereas Amanda has nothing. Mike wanted to have joint ownership of the properties to share the income between them, which would have had the effect of reducing the income tax he was paying on the rental income. Now, without being married, Mike was unable to equalise the ownership without making taxable disposals. In other words, he's going to have to sell a share of the properties to Amanda, but this will be considered a chargeable event and capital gains tax will be due on any gains he's, going to make, he's made on the properties since their purchase. Above, of course, his personal allowance. Once married, the portfolio property was simply put into joint names without a chargeable event taking place, so no capital gains tax is due. The rental income could then also be split between them, so each have £50,000, which meant a much larger percentage of the income is going to be taxed at 20% instead of 40%. On the other hand, a disadvantage of being married is that a couple can only have one main residence between them, whereas a cohabiting couple can have one each. For a married couple, a second property is going to be treated as an additional residential property and subject to capital gains tax on sale. Another tax downside of marriage and owning more than one property is that the 3% stamp duty surcharge will apply when buying your second residential property that can have quite a significant impact upon the purchase costs of a second home. The final tax disadvantage of being married relates to what's known as the connected persons rule. There are many places in the tax legislation where being connected with somebody else restricts your freedom to plan for tax. One example is with the introduction of the 25% corporation tax rate, which is going to be introduced in April 2023. The new rules state that if two companies are under common control, they will have to divide the £50,000 and the £250,000 tax thresholds by the number of companies. So if a married couple each own a company, they're going to be treated under, as under common control and probably end up paying more corporation tax. Whereas an identical unmarried couple are not deemed as being connected persons, each owns a company, they will each benefit from the tax thresholds and probably pay less corporation tax. I think you're going to need advice from your accountants on this. So I hope that's been useful. There's a few pros and cons of getting hitched when it comes to the tax rules as they stand today. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. I'm Justin King. I'm a chartered and certified financial planner and my aim is to help people live successful lives. That often involves understanding your money. I host a podcast called the Retirement Cafe Podcast. You might like to check that out. Uh, I've put a description, a link to that in the description below. Or you can also, or, and you can also sign up for my weekly newsletter, which is packed with inspiration and tips for a successful retirement. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please press the like button to help more people like you find my channel. For now, I'm Justin King, helping you live your best life.